You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My debt to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Oh, I love that song. Hi, Miss Laura. Hi, Miss Chloe. I love that song too, especially on a day like today. It's a day for celebration. It's Easter. Hallelujah. Christ is risen. Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. <laughs> hi, everyone. Oh, Ephraim, hi. You look so sad. What's wrong? Hi, Miss Chloe. I probably look sad because I am sad. I went to the Good Friday service, and while I was there, we talked about Jesus died on the cross for our sins. And after he died, he was put in a tomb and a big heavy stone was rolled in front of the tomb. And I just feel sad when I think about the sacrifice that God made for me. He sent his son, Jesus, to die on the cross for me. You're right. Good Friday can make us sad since we talk about Jesus dying on the cross for us. It's good for us to take a minute, pause and reflect on what that means. But. I want to ask you something. Do you know that the story didn't end there? Friends, let's hear a Bible story and find out what happened after Jesus was buried in the tomb. It's good news. It sure is. All right, friends, listen to this. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark outside, two of Jesus's friends, Mary and Mary Magdalene, went to the tomb where Jesus had been buried. Suddenly, there was an earthquake! Wow! And an angel of the Lord rolled back the big, heavy stone and sat on it. <gasps> Whoa, the big stone? That was like in front of the tomb? I bet it would take so many big grown-ups to even push that stone an inch. Absolutely, Ephraim. And listen to this. The guards at the tomb, who were there to make sure that no one took Jesus's body, well, they were so afraid of seeing the angel that they fainted. Oh, I know, like this. The angel said to the women, do not be afraid. Jesus is not here. He has risen from the dead, just as he said he would. So the women left the tomb quickly and they ran to tell Jesus' friends, the disciples, the good news. Just then, who should greet them? But Jesus. The women worshipped him. Don't be afraid, Jesus told them. Tell my followers to go to Galilee. They will see me there. Jesus appeared to Peter and then to other disciples. Jesus also appeared to more than 500 people who followed him. Many people witnessed that Jesus is alive. I am so happy. I bet all the people that Jesus appeared to also must have felt so happy. They finally understood what Jesus had done. They realized that he had risen from the dead. Is that something I could do or you could do? No. Nah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Who is the only one who has the power to raise from the dead? God. <laughs> mm -hmm. The Bible says that Jesus died on the cross to show us God's love. First John 4.10 says, this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. This story shows us the gospel. But what is the gospel? The gospel is the good news that God sent his son, Jesus, into the world to rescue sinners. God is the perfect king over everything. But we all sin or disobey God. God must punish sin. Yet he wants to save the people he loves. So he sent Jesus to rescue us. Jesus never sinned but he died to take our punishment because he loves us. Then God brought Jesus back to life to prove that he defeated sin and death once 
for all. Jesus is alive. You know, when I was little, my teacher taught me about Easter by using eggs like these. And so these eggs, they all have different crosses inside. And each cross has a different color and they mean different things. Here, let me show you. So I see a gray cross and this gray cross represents the sin that I made. And this red cross represents the blood that he gave. And this blue cross represents that he rose to the sky. And the green is for new life in Christ. My Sunday school teacher used eggs like that to teach me the Easter story too. The gray cross reminds us that we sin. We do things that are not loving and kind, kind of like hurting our friends or not listening to our parents. Because we have sin, we are separated from God. The red cross is the color of blood. It shows us that Jesus died on the cross. He was hurt on the cross so that we could be brought back together to our loving God. The blue cross It's the color of the sky. It shows us that even after Jesus died on the cross, he didn't stay dead. He rose to be in heaven with God. And the green cross reminds us that we have life forever. God sent his son Jesus to forgive us of our sins by dying on the cross. He rose up to be with God in heaven. And because Jesus died on the cross, we can have life in heaven too. Wait a minute. I think I understand now. So since the beginning of this year, we've been learning that God knew that sin would rule in the hearts of his people. But from the very beginning, God had a plan to rescue his people from sin and death. God made a promise to Adam and Eve right there way back in the Garden of Eden that one day he would send a rescuer to save them. Jesus is that rescuer. That's right, Ephraim. The Bible is God's word, and it tells us the wonderful story of God's plan to rescue sinners. Jesus is that rescuer. And do you know what? Jesus' resurrection gives us joy. Because he rose to life, there is no suffering we can face that could ever take away our salvation. Jesus brings forgiveness and life with God forever to sinners. And that is such good news. Friends, will you pray with us? Let's pray. Thank you, God, for Easter. Thank you for sending us your son, Jesus. Lord, help us to remember him, to honor him, and to celebrate him each and every day. Thank you that he was willing to die the death that we deserve. Thank you for raising him from the dead, but help us to experience the true joy that only he can give. Amen. Amen. Friends, thank you so much for joining us today. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Have a wonderful week, friends. Bye.